My Lords, I rise to speak to and move Amendment 144E, which Noble Lords will have noticed appears in the name of my noble friend Baroness Jones of Moulscombe, but operating on our normal um, lark and owl uh, rota, this one falls to me at the hour end of the evening. Um, and we've just been talking about some very big and major issues around this bill and our whole electoral system. Here we're perhaps doing something that's some might regard as a more traditional aspect of your Lordship's House. The scrutiny, the modest measures, the cleaning and tidying, the um, curing of small injustices. Because what this amendment 144E does is um, amends uh, section 79.1 uh, of the Local Government Act of 1972, addressing the situation where people have been placed by their local council into temporary housing outside the area um, that, um, that they might wish to stand for election in. Now, we know that um, now housing is a huge issue and many people are struggling to find housing, many people are being displaced and many local councils are struggling to find housing. And this uh, amendment actually comes from the case of a person who contacted our office who wants to stand in the forthcoming local elections and through absolutely no fault of their own under the current rules they've been made ineligible to stand in that election because they've been placed in temporary housing outside the local authority area. Now it's obvious that this is not just an isolated case. It's a factor of the current qualifications for standing in local elections. Um, it's a case of instant disqualification of someone who maybe have been in an area for decades, um, is really embedded in that area, is really part of that community, really has something to offer that community. But because of the lack of housing, a structure, government and perhaps local authority failure, um, they're suddenly not able to stand, not able to contribute. And of course, this can affect any candidate, regardless of their party, regardless of social or economic situation. Maybe they've been evicted because a landlord is selling the home they've been living in. Perhaps they're fleeing domestic abuse. Or there's a whole host of other reasons why people might need temporary accommodation. And maybe they've been planning to stand in this forthcoming election for years. And that placement outside the borough then scuppers all their hard work. Um, it's just... This is a small, very modest amendment, would only affect a very small number of people, but it would essentially address a basic injustice. And I hope that um, I will get, will see broad support for this amendment um, across the House. And this is something that the government might feel able to move very modestly on. Um, so I beg to move. <laughs>